You don't have a tablet with you. Eh, no. <laughs> Jesus. And we're doing a test. No, no, I'm just, I'm just doing a test for him. Everyone else? If you want to, you can go. You can go. You can, you can decide what you think his score is. You can listen to the test. Okay, I'm doing an IELTS test. Yeah, you can go. You can keep working on the phrasal verbs. Or you can listen to the test and make some notes and tell me what score I should give him. Okay? So, um, this is the beginning of the international, sorry, this is the International English Language Testing System, conducted on the 24th of October, 2014, at Fusion English School. The examiner is Floyd Kermode, and the candidate is Jose. Um, good evening. Good evening. So, um, to begin with, um, Jose, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your hometown in your country. Yes. Um, where do you come from? I am from Cali, Colombia. And um, what do you like about your hometown? Uh, this is a very cultural city. This is the main city for sports in my country. Also, the weather is very, very cool for me because it's a high. It's, the temperature usually is very high. Right. And um, is there anything that you would like to change about your hometown? Yes, maybe I want to change all, only the, the government that is very corrupt. <laughs> it's, it's that. Oh, yeah. and uh, what sort of buildings are there in your hometown? Oh, there is not many buildings because the city was made from scratch by people, was not planned, so it's mainly controlled by houses. It's only a main building in the center of the city that is very representative, but this is not many. Mm -hmm. Now, Jose, let's move on to talk about um, friends. Do you have many close friends? Mm, some ones, but some people, but not too much because I am very focused in, in improving my English. Um, so I select my friends because I want to keep talking. So, for example, I left my friends of Colombia that cannot speak English. Mm -hmm. And um, do you prefer to friend spend time with friends or with family? Um, actually, I prefer spend time with friends that are close to me in my uh, in my thinking about the IT systems because I keep. I oh, keep learning uh, my my degree, my career, so I prefer to spend time with mm -hmm. friends that and, um, keep do my adults friends. and children make friends in the same way? Excuse me? Can you uh, do adults and children make friends in the same way? I don't think so. I think that the children are in other way to make friends uh, that are more open to keep to share your ideas by the adults are in a different way, more reserved to keep your thinking for yourself. Mm -hmm. I and um, let's move on to talk about um, about music. Jose, do you like music? Mm, yes, I like. Why? Oh, because having to concentrate when I develop software. For example, I like to listen electronic music or also classic music that don't, don't include any voice, so I can keep focusing mm -hmm. my... And um, what kind of electronic devices do you normally use when you listen to music? <coughs> my computer through a headphones that I... that is a wireless headphone. Mm -hmm. And... Um, have you ever learned how to play a musical instrument? Uh, only once I was a child. I, I played piano. Uh, but now, no. Mm -hmm. um, and um, which instrument would you prefer to study? The piano or the violin? Oh, I would like to learn piano, the violin, but 
I keep in piano because it produces better songs, I think. It's, it's easier to learn. Mm -hmm. Now, Jose, I'm going to give you a topic and um, you will have one to two minutes to prepare for it. Um, oh, sorry, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to speak about it for one to two minutes. Before you speak, you will have one to two minutes, oh, sorry, one minute to prepare. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Here is a pen and some paper making notes. Oops, just right anywhere there, doesn't matter. And here is your topic. I'd like you to describe an intelligent person you know. You should say who they are, what kind of person they are, what they do, and why you think he or she is intelligent. Now, remember, Jose, you have one to two minutes to talk about this, so don't worry if I stop you. I will tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Well, uh, a person that I know too much for is Stephen Hawking, that is a scientific. He is doing research about the space the astronomy. I read a lot about <coughs> him because he, he has write, wrote a lot of books about the universe, the astronomy. He enjoyed talking about many theories that are too, too widely to the scientific, uh, scientific people. Um, he mainly spent their time talking through a seat because he used a computer to talk because he cannot speak. He has a keenness that, that block their speaking. He mainly speaks through a machine, a tipping a keyboard to talk. Oh, there is his men too popular as scientific because has many theories about the black holes and the universe, the origin of the earth, the sun, the stars. Um, what more about him? Um, he is traveling around the world, giving conference seminars to the people that want to know more about the universe, the science. Um, yeah, yes, I, I I want to learn more about that person that I I know, um, and and I'm keeping trying to with all the material that he produced. Um, you want to know more about him? Um, thank you, thank you. And do other people think this person is intelligent? Yes, sure. Yes. Thank you. Can I have the pencil paper back, please? The task card back. Now, we've been talking about an intelligent person you know, and I'd like to ask you one or two um, more general questions related to this. Let's consider, first of all, intelligent people. Do you think intelligent people are happier than um, most people? Uh, I don't think so, because um, people that are that is supposed to be not intelligent are not worried about many things that intelligent people is worried about. Oh, they worry more, do they? Yes, so people, people that are not in the group of intelligent people that most people think that, 
is not worried about how the things work, how the world is going. So I think that is happier people that is not in that world. Oh, and um, do you think um, do you think intelligent people enjoy their jobs more? Uh, yes, because it's in a very serious position to so know more about how the things work and want to keep updates, learning more more things. Oh, so you think they are, they do enjoy their work more? Yeah, yeah. usually. Right. And um, speaking about education, um, do you think it's good to have special classes for intelligent children in school? Yes, I think. Very, yes, I am actually say about that because uh, not everybody understands in the same way. So I think that children or any people that are in certain level uh, should have other kind of teaching mm -hmm. to explode all your knowledge and your skills. And um, just one more question. What do you think makes somebody a good teacher? I think that their ability to understand their students and help to each one to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. That is the end of the international testing system. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, do you want some feedback? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> here's your feedback. Fluency, you did very well. You talked all the time. You needed to talk more in part two, right? So it's, it's not good to stop before the examiner stops you in yeah. part two. So you need to you need to plan. So you need to practice planning for a long part two. Okay. Okay. I'm happy to help you with that. I'm very good at. Oh, I I love IELTS speaking. I'm really good at teaching it. I do it a lot. I know a lot about it, so I'm happy to help you. Um, but apart from that, you were pretty fluent. You answered all the questions. Your answers made sense. I could understand them. Your grammar was reasonably complicated, but you had some problems with tense, so saying don't instead of doesn't, um, that kind of thing. Um, you did have some good vocabulary. You talked about how building something from scratch. Does everyone know this expression? Yeah, that's really nice. That's that that you know. Sorry. Start from a one. Start from nothing. That's right. Starting from nothing. Yeah, yeah. So that was good, and that was correctly used. Um, do sports is not correct. You should say play sports. Okay. Um, so the areas. Let's see. So your pronunciation was fine. I could understand your pronunciation. You have a strong Spanish accent. You, but you, you fit. Oh, yeah, but that's no problem. Your, your accent doesn't stop me understanding your words. Okay. But this um, can be a problem with the balance test? Not really. You, you could use more stress, but it's an international test, so the examiner is not allowed to punish you because you've got a Japanese accent or a Vietnamese accent or a, you know, an American accent or a Scottish accent or a Colombian accent. As long as it doesn't stop the examiner understanding the word. So, if you're so Spanish that I don't know what the word is, I'll give you an example with Spanish. If you say E before S, you know, like yeah. esports, it's very Spanish. Yeah. If you said a lot of that, the examiner might bring down your pronunciation score. Okay. But this is about the pronunciation that is different from the accent, right? That's right, that's different. I mean, it's like in Japanese, um, after a a hard sound, like a t or a d, they put an extra vowel, so they say hot do instead of hot. Mm. Right. That would affect it, because that's beyond accent. That's, that's more than accent. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Um, so your grammar was okay, but you need to work on accuracy of words. You could make longer sentences. Okay. Um, fluency, like I said, speak more in part two. Um, in part three, try to make long, long sentences, you know, talk as much as you can. It was pretty good, really. Okay. That's all. What I need to get an eight in the eyes. <laughs> an eight? Yes, what, what lack? What is my... Oh, I don't think you would get an eight. 
No, I know you, that you in this stage. Are together, I, right? <laughs> I, I know, but uh, I am here close to what? Six, seven, eight, five. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to give numbers in this school or not. Um, I think I think you you you'd be reasonable for six point five. I would guess. Okay. Yeah, and possible seven. Okay. Nearly to six six point five. Yeah, okay. that's that's my my guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, not eight. For eight, you need much more accuracy in the plane than it should. Much need to be much more confident. For the seven. What I need to fix to seven, you need to use more things like from scratch accurately, and you need okay. to have much less mistakes with grammar. You okay. can still have mistakes with grammar for seven, but you need to have less. You know, the, the examiner needs to just close their eyes and think, Yeah, I remember quite a few sentences that work perfectly. Okay. It's similar in your writing. You know, in writing, the examiner should be able to close their eyes and go, Oh yeah, the perfect sentence. I'll do it again. Another perfect sentence, right? For a seven. For a six, it's sort of oh, that one's okay. Yeah, that's sort of okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. I really apologise about the technical problems today. I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again.